Hello, 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 and welcome to the demo of Siorama World of Shipping. That is probably the only time I will get the name right. Uh, it is part of the Next Fest on, uh, system going on Steam at the moment. You get to play a lot of demos. Um, there's two modes in this. Basically, we can play against other AI companies or play with uh, play solo without any limitations. Uh, let's go against another company. Um, so we're gonna have five opponents here, max uh, rating points of a thousand. I think that's the victory goal there. Play against the other AI companies and try to be better, smarter, and quicker in taking decisions. Remember, every choice counts. Win conditions. Be the last company with ships in the world or reach the required rating ranking points set at the beginning of the game. Losing condition. You are in a situation with no ships and in debt at the beginning of the month. What would be really nice is if you could, like, basically if more companies would appear. Um, I hate picking names. Um... Be right back. Wait, nope, never mind. I thought it was me. I thought someone was calling me. Um... I think they're talking to a dog. Okay, uh, da 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 da. I hate picking names. Can shipping, Canada shipping, go. The Eiffel Tower is, the, is threatened as the biggest counter ship in longer than this famous landmark or even the Empire State Building. What? As the biggest container ship in longer than the famous landmark or even the Empire State Building. Okay, select your starting port. We will pick Montreal. Are you sure you want to confirm? Yes. This is our ship. Uh, it is a Paramax bulk carrier. So a bulk carrier will carry things like grains, ores, coal, uh, not coal, gold, uh, logs, things like that. Basically things you're not putting into a container and not liquids. So things you just heat kind of thing. Uh, I'm not really going to play around with the coloring too much. To be honest, it's uh, you get the first ship for free. Kind of odd. Okay, so this is your map. Uh, we are over here. The game is paused, and I think we have one year to play in total. Um, so let's click on us here. I have played a bit because the game is somewhat confusing, actually. There, as far as I know, there's no tutorial. So here's your crew. Uh, basically, you have captains, chief mates, chief mechanics, electrotechnical officers, and chief stewards. Each one does a different thing. We are going to hire somebody for each position immediately. Um, is there any Canadians anywhere? I never get Canadian. We're in Canada. Okay. So, five years. Sure. I'm going to pick the most experienced people, basically. Uh, we can get it reduced if we go for half the contract. Or for double the contract. So, either six months or 12 months. 12 months is cheaper, kind of thing. Uh, six... Or six seventy three each. Uh, let's go with you. You're younger. One 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 three. One 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 one. Thirty twos across the board. Are you? I guess. And Chief Steward. You're the winner. We hire one male. 
We hired one male. Uh, so each of these does different things. Uh, chief steward is in charge of food, cleaning, and that kind of stuff. Electrotechnical officer, kind of obvious. Uh, chief mechanic, again, obvious. Chief mate, uh, second in command of the ship, mainly responsible for the ship during a voyage. A more experienced chief mate will minimize the percentage of negative events happening during a voyage. And the captain. The captain is in charge of the ship, takes control during the ship's mooring, unmooring, loading, and unloading. A more experienced captain will have a uh, positive effect during the voyage. Uh, two positions I think this needs. One is pilot or helmsman. I guess it'd be helmsman. Uh, pilot is when you're going in and out of port, but the helmsman is the driver, so that would be important. And the other person would be chief security. Okay, um, so we are over in Montreal. We have one ship. And it has a total storage of 47,000. So currently that we have no contracts selected. This is what is available. And uh, currently we can afford, or we are qualified for all of them. You have to get your reputation up to get some of these. And our reputation is here. So, where are we looking to go? Uh, Portugal. Okay. Just going to quickly go down. I'm basically looking for a group. So, it looks like the Black Sea has two. South America has a couple. Three. Okay. So, con um, Romania. Oh, I can do it by destination. Sorry, I didn't realize I could change this. Did that actually make this easier? Or no. Brazil, Brazil. Oh, distance would be probably easier, wouldn't it? I guess not, because it doesn't mean that they're going to be beside each other. Um, Romania, Bulgaria. So that is 20, 32,000. And how long do we have to get there? 41 days. Okay, I think we can do that. Uh, so the other part here is you have eco rating. So if I just took this Romania deal here and left, basically, it's not very economical. It's not very, which basically, the game is eco, look, basically does hold environmental uh, like, it does look at the environment kind of thing. So you do want to be basically environmentally friendly. And shipping is actually, like, considering how much fuel they do spend, they are actually a very eco-friendly. Yes, they're polluting a lot, but the amount that they carry is the best that we have. So uh, let's grab you two. Malt and scrap iron. Okay, so we can grab you. We're going to Romania. Uh, we're going to Bulgaria. And who else do we have here? I saw Italy. Do we want to go to Italy? Oh, we cannot take you now. Uh, we could stop in Portugal, though. Anybody else? I think you're too much out of the way. I know it doesn't look like that, but I think you're too much out of the way. I'm going to take you. So yeah, we only have an extra... Like, we have less than 14,000 available to us, which is why Italy is out. 
Portugal is only 11,000, so let's grab you. Okay. Um, so, other things I want to look at. First, the auto refueling is set at 9%. I am going to bump that up. I learned from experience. Bump that way up. Uh, we are going to Portugal first. And we're going to stop in Portugal. Basically, I want to take a look to see if there's anything going to the Black Sea from Portugal. We might be able to grab another contract. So if we head straight there, it would take uh, right to our last port. It would take us 31 days. So we are actually looking pretty good here. I don't know what happens when they expire. I did have a bunch when I just played. I think you get a bonus when you get it on time, or you might lose some money. I'm not sure what happens. Um, I want the game to pause when we're in a port or when the ship is idle. Okay, and we're going to start this contract. Oops. Oh, I guess I clicked on a port. I'm sorry, I don't know what that was. Uh, so my complaints for this, my biggest complaints for this game, right off the bat, are one, it is a map, not a globe. I cannot go past uh, west of North America, and I cannot go east of Asia. And my second biggest complaint is WASD do not work on the map. Okay, so we're heading to Portugal. I don't know. Um, there we go. You can look at the ship. My also biggest complaint would be leave those up there longer. They change them over and I can't read them fast enough. That's what our ship looks like. Oh, now WASD works. Although there's, like, we're in the St. Lawrence and there's no land. Just saying. Uh, so, come back here. We're going to speed along here. Uh, let's take a look. So we have just under 20 million currently. Um, I'm going to look at ships here. We can't afford a new ship. Uh, so a cheap container is 28,000, cheap tanker 35,000, and 27,000 for... ...25,000 for a bulk carry. It's interesting. So how much do you hold? You hold 87,000 and you hold 450,000. Yeah, okay. Uh, and, oh, sorry, I learned it. But yeah, uh, we can bid. Doesn't mean we're going to get one. Uh, let's see. So we have a tanker for up here. Uh, so far, the bid is 15,000 or 15 million for this tanker, which holds 120,000. It is an eco rating of B, so it's not the best for the environment. Uh, engine rating 80%, which means it's not far from needing repairs. Hull damage 80%, not far from needing repairs. There's 63 days left in this auction. Um, let's bid a million. So let's bet we're going to basically bid for $15 million on this, or $16 million on this. It's not. I doubt we're going to get it. Kind of hope we don't at that price. I don't know why I did it. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna turn all these up. So you have wars, epidemics, uh, port events, and strikes. I'm just gonna turn off strikes and wars. Uh, these are your opponent. I kind of wish each, since there's only five, I'm guessing you can have more than five, but I wish each company was a different color. So that you would know which company. Like, so if you see a bunch of green, you know that green is kicking your butt. Or not. Uh, we got 1% reputation. Um, the amount of ranking points your company has compared to these necessary to achieve victory. So yeah, we need a thousand of those to get to uh, victory. And this is your reputation, which allows for more uh, contracts. We're almost in Lisbon. That's no, not Lisbon, that's... Drowning during port approach, bloody hell. Oh, we got 12. You can see our rep went up by uh, 12 for getting here, uh, or for doing this mission. Uh, a navigational error caused the ship to become grounded. The captain is held responsible. Well, percentage of an event happening increases further. Increase uh, increasements of damages. Let's repair only one day we'll take it um so we are paused i want to take a look here are you moving you are moving i wanted to look and I don't know how to send the ship here. Like, if I wanted to send them here. Did, was there anything in here anyways? Oh, it looks like you don't actually have contract. Oh, fair enough. So yeah, it looks like we got about 10 days spare time here. Fear of epidemic in Saudi Arabia. Uh, the game does have piracy. The game does have, well, epidemics and foreclosures and things like that. Uh, you also have paid to go through canals. Only two that I know of. Is there only two canals in the world? Like major canals like that? Uh, Panama and Suez? Or is there a third? I don't know where the third would be. That also bugs me. That's me trying to zoom in. Reputation is 4%. Time zone. Weather. So it'll go into the first port and then it'll go to the second port and we don't have to do anything in the first port. Um, okay, we're already in the second port. Really could have looked at contracts in the first one there, but... Ten percent. Okay. So the game is paused we're, because we're idle. Um, bum -bum -bum -bum. we can head to. Well, that's gonna be yeah, way too expensive to do that. Uh, so as you can see here, we need to have higher reputation to be able to do these. Um. Ivory Coast, or neither of those are really that good. 
How do I go to a different port? Okay. If I went back to Bulgaria. Oh, we're in Bulgaria. If I go Romania. One second. Okay. Um, where am I going today? Sorry. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so I learned how I basically it was right next to. They're right beside each other. I'm just really blind. Um, okay, so we want. This is actually interesting because if I just clicked on the port and looked at the contract, it wouldn't have shown me this. So I'd be like, oh, there's three for Australia, but one of them I can't do. Uh, so I'm actually still going to go to Australia, and there is this one down here for um, Mombasa, which is somewhat on the way. Um, one second. Can we look at yours? Do you have any for Australia? Or anything down to Singapore, anything? No. Okay, so yeah, we just want to head back here. I think we're gonna head down to Mombasa. Uh, can I see? Mombasa? Sorry, I don't know Mombasa. Kenya. What's the flag look like? Okay. Brazil or Portugal or Brazil or Canada? Not really helpful. Um, I still think we'll drop off the stuff. How much is it gonna cost? Get uh, Garner. Four sixty-eight, and we're probably gonna have to pay like a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand in security. But that's getting us halfway to, or about a third of the way. All of them we have to pay go through the Suez Canal anyway. So I say we just take it. Acquire. Acquire. Oh, I did not pay attention to that. No, the other one was worth more too. Damn it. Alright, go. Uh, we have to tell you to go actually. Okay, let's just bump this up to 100. Always get fuel. How about that? Do we want higher security for 180,000? Yeah. Yes, we do. Uh, where is a shipyard is green oh there's this is a shipyard actually you are too well we're not gonna okay so stop at here and go Okay, so we got points for picking stuff up. I didn't realize that. Hm. We need a different kind of ship.
Uh, we're only going 10 knots. I don't know. Should we go faster? 13 knots looks... This is a result of the ship's uh, consumption and condition. Better ratings will allow you to access more ports. Each ship's ratings affects the company's uh, overall rating. Is there anything here? No. Oh, I go to card, maybe. I guess I could have checked there, too. Okay, so we're currently paused. Um... I have no idea what an LNG port is. How long do I have to get there first? Uh, 10 extra days. It's going to take us 22 days to drive that far. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. Uh, Damn storms. Fire accident. A bad wiring connection caused a fire on board. The quick response from the crew members kept the fire under control. Told us safety of life at sea is one of the most important international conventions of the safety of merchant ships. Fire on board a vessel may cause environmental disasters and cost people's lives. I like how people's lives is after the environmental disaster. Uh, proper procedures and technologies should be in place. Chip had to stop for that. Uh, what just happened here? Sorry. Pause, pause, pause. What's happened? Strikes. Oh, you suck. Uh, strikes. Why aren't you showing me? Over good timing. Wonder if we click on this one or import, can we see anything? Oh, wait. Uh, grounding during port approach. Navigation error caused the ship to become grounded. The captain is held responsible. Repair. We have made very little money so far. Okay. Um, first, can we do this? The first... I didn't see the thing. Oh, it does show something. Cool. Alright, let's take a look here. Um, upgrades. Is this not a... No, it's not. 
Okay. What do you have for us? Another Australian board. Two for Korea. That's doable. And that's what? Twenty four thousand. Um and then there's China. That's a very Yeah, let's grab that, because that just makes sense. I mean, it's not worth as much, but... Acquire. Acquire. And acquire. So we only have... basically 7,000 tons available space right at the moment. I don't know if any cargoes are ever that small. Uh, what is the next port? Newcastle. Uh, yeah, nothing that we can even touch here. Okay. Well, I'm going to put a uh, cut in here. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Please leave any comments that you might have on this demo. And I hope to see you all again. Have a great day, everybody.